All right, so here we are back with uh, some more customizing for the bed. So what I did is I took a piece of sheet styrene and I uh, I cut it to fit the way I'm going to want it to sit on there. So I cut out a notch here to go around my little cab support so that'll fit in there nice and flat like that. And then I had to uh, go ahead and sand it down these, these posts here so that was nice and flat. So then I had a nice flat looking bed to the, uh, to the back of the cab or the back of the tow truck section. So now going through Google, looking at a bunch of 80s style tow trucks, cause that's what we're dealing with here is an 80s style truck. I um, got some ideas and pictures on how to construct the sides of this thing. So, um, so I'm going to show you, I, Jumped ahead of myself too much, and I already threw away some of my stuff, but Silly Putty is uh, the start of what I'm doing here. So I need this to stay in place, right? So I'll take a gob of super Silly Putty, put it right there on the bottom. Now this stuff is just going to be sticky enough just to kind of hold things in place so I can mock it up. A lot of guys will use Blue Tack. I think it's the same kind of stuff. So that... Silly Putty is going to hold that in place for me for mocking up so I can continue to work on the sides. So what I'm going to do is work on the bottom here. What I did is I just took some cardboard stock from, an, from a, a, a car, from the carts, and I mocked it up on here to make myself a template before I cut out the styrene. So I made a template of the piece out of cardboard to make sure it was going to fit to give me an idea. This way I don't waste a lot of styrene. Um, so then to give you an idea, this is going to sit in here like so. And this piece might be for the other side. I haven't marked them. I should probably put a right, an R and an L on there to mark them left and right. So see, that's going to sit in there like that. So that's going to be my next step is to get these things glued to the base, to the bed of that, uh, the floor of that bed. And then I'll come back and cut out the wheel well area so we have space for the wheel so you'll see that there <clears throat> i'm gonna do the same thing on the other side <laughs> that just reminded me i sound like hewitt's <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry <laughs> this is a little funny moment anyways uh so that one's gonna go there i got that uh just mocked up quick i'm gonna get that glued onto there I haven't decided if I want to try to cut out the wheel well before I glue it on so I don't have the same problems as I had with the cab falling off. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's going to be my next steps. He's going to glue this to that, so that's set. And then um, then I got to work on the top half. I want to have a little bit of a rail coming up here and across the back. I got to decide what to do with the bumper. I think I want that, I want this piece to come back a little bit more. So the edge of the bumper. I'm going to take another piece of sheet styrene and go on the top of the bumper and just give me a little lip. So I have a little a little lip coming around the edge of this. And then I'll look at my pictures and see where I'll end up. But that's where we're at. All right, so it's been a uh, busy afternoon here. Just going to town with styrene like crazy. So the last time you've seen this, we just had the flat piece, just the bed. I had these pieces made for the top. And I mean, I'm sorry, these pieces made for the bottom. And I placed them on there and I've gone ahead and made the back piece and made a little cutout for it for the um, for the hook to be able to have room, right? And then I also made the top half and I gave it a little angle down to match. So that's now going to be able to sit just like so. So I did trim that back a little bit, made room for this back panel. It sits right on top of the bumper nice. So that's going to sit in there pretty sweet. Um, I went ahead and I drilled a hole in the bed here. It's going to be to hold my uh, hold my um, tow truck mechanism in place. And the way that I did that is the same thing. I took some black paint and I put black paint on this little spot that sticks out. And then I just gently went down and got it just about where I wanted it to be and moved it around and it left me a black circle. So then I found a drill bit of the right size for that piece 
and went back and boom. Now I have that sitting in there just perfect. So you can see, still got a lot of body work to do here. This is still gonna get coated with some, uh, probably some JB Weld to hold it all together nice. And then we'll sand it down before a primer and then see what it looks like once it's on primer. Same thing with this body. I mean, the cab, I still have a lot of work to do to the cab before primer. So yeah, this is uh, quite the custom. It's all out. <laughs> so it's been a lot of fun. Hanging in with me, we're gonna keep working. All right, so I think I'm in a pretty good spot here with our tow truck build. I took the back of it off. We just mocked up this uh, roll cage that came from another truck. It's gonna go right on the back there with the spotlights facing towards its back for the, but I think I'm, I'm ready for some primer here. So I'm gonna get this thing apart. We're gonna get it hooked up onto my, uh, my painting tools here. And uh, I'm gonna get ready to give it its final coat of primer, the base. It's a two part deal. You clean your parts and your pit mat at the same time. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's maybe I'll fit on the outside of it. And I'll just find a spot. Perfect. Whoa, how's that for a close-up? All right, there we go. All right, we are ready for paint booth. Well, not paint booth. I don't do this primary process in my paint booth, which is inside my room right here. I don't have a strong enough fan. So, all right, hang in there with me. We're gonna get some primer on these things and we'll be back with some more details. All right guys, welcome back. Here we are at the uh, at the bench. <clears throat> Our timestamp for today is uh, Sunday, November 24th, uh, 21st. <laughs> this is due on the 24th, uh, November 21st, about uh, 6.30 p.m. Finally got uh, decent coverage of primer on the castings here. I've uh, primed and sanded it a couple of times to get them, especially the panels here, to get to be where I wanted. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that now. I got the uh, tow mechanism. I painted the red lights yellow. This is the light mechanism that's going to go up inside, like so. Um, that was all blue, so I painted it... Uh, an aluminum color and then I went over it with um, a um, orange and then clear orange from Tamaya to give me that color I still got some touch up to do on the on the silver on that one so yeah we're uh, running out of time but I'm getting close I forgot to show you the base is done <clears throat> well the base is black not gray plastic like it was so yeah that's uh that's coming along. There's a lot of detail work I want to do in there, mainly on the grill and the exhaust on the sides. So uh, that's going to sit and dry for me, get nice and cured. I'm going to get this, um, yeah, I'm going to get this in some gauzy, get it covered up. And uh, yeah, we've got to start thinking about a color. I don't know what color I'm going to do yet. So a little bit more to do. Hang in there with me. So here we are with the finished uh, construction, I guess, if you will, way off schedule. So, yeah, this project was technically due to be video posted from Lee's anniversary before Thanksgiving. Well, today's December 1st, so I'm way behind. But that's why we're doing a three-part series. So this is going to wrap it up for part two of our three-part series. So we have all of our pieces now constructed. We're going to be now getting ready for paint. So we just finished up with the uh, the bed portion of the uh, of the truck, and this all now sits here in primer with our styrene block there to hold the screw together, and we have the cab that we've seen uh, in the previous episode. Parts that I missed was the de the base is now gloss brack and ready for uh, for detailing. I put axle tubes in here. Uh, that part I I didn't get recorded earlier. But we got axle tubes in there. Oops, axle tubes in there for our. I believe these were green light wheels and axles that are going to go in there. And then we have our uh, 
roll bar that we got trimmed up properly. I'm gonna have to touch up the lights facing back to the, the back half of the truck. We have our beacons for the roof of the cab, all set and ready to go, as well as the beacons that are gonna go into the back part of the truck. So we have the interior. I've already hit this window with gauzy once. I'm gonna do it again. Um, I might wet sand it down again and then hit it with the gauzy again. But well, there's a lot of detail work in here that I want to paint. So there's a lot of detail work here that I want to paint. We have some pretty decent exhaust. We have some nice grill work. I'm gonna do the bumpers. A little bit of undercarriage detail there. So we're gonna detail that up. I'm also going to do some weathering of sort to the hitch, the uh, the uh, tow truck mechanism itself, just to weather it up a little bit. Still have no idea what I'm gonna paint this color, this this truck. No clue what the color is gonna be yet. But that's where we're at. Construction is done, and uh, we're gonna need to now move on to the to the paint stage. So hang in there with me. Keep watching. If you haven't yet subscribed, and click that little bell to make sure that you uh, get notified of my all my future coming videos, as well as episode three for this one, which will be paint and reveal. So thanks for watching. Hang in there with me. We'll be back with some more.